Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking process video for you. I am working with the November Click Kit. This Click Kit is called Seneca Falls and it's full of a lot of black and white. I found these daughter, daughters, nope, I found pictures of my daughter and um, I thought I would scrap those and use a ton of black and white. So what I started with was I went through and found, like I'm on the cut apart sheet here and I found a few um, pieces that matched um, the sentiment, the idea, as well as um, the fact that they were black and white. And um, I cut that cut file out knowing that I was going to use it because it's a bunch of butterflies. Um, it's a cut file from the cut shop and I'll link all that information below as well. But um, I wanted that to be behind my photo and then I was just going to start with black and white elements and see what I found. I wasn't super happy trying to figure out where to place these, but then I found this piece there. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> I like that. Um, this piece says it's meant to be a journal spot. And it says this made my day. So then I decided since it had a little bit of that kind of peachy orange color that I should go through and find things that are also orange. Um, and eventually I determined that I also need to grab some green things because there's green on that little piece of floral um, ephemera. So I'm going to go through and I go back and forth. I don't end up using that love, love, love. Um, I thought about that for my title. Um, the title is one of the last things I end up doing on this layout because um, I had a hard time deciding uh, what to call it. So I'm going through items that are from both the Traveler's Notebook kit as well as the main kit. Um, and I'm pulling items that I think I can use as layers behind and around the photo. Uh, I decided um, to use, so that green that you see there on the left is actually supposed to be a little plant in a pot. And I put it behind it and it looks more like a leaf and I kind of like how that looks. And so now I remembered from the last layout that I made that there was this cute little plant paper that comes in a six by six paper pad. Well, it's actually a piece of paper too, but um, I decided I wanted a little bit more of a layer behind the photo of my daughter. And so I added that. It added a little pop of green. The other thing that I added is that little clip. I haven't actually clipped it yet, but I put a little clip up there on the top left. Um, I'm not sure what I just did. <laughs> I'm not sure why the why I shut the thing off. I probably just had to go to the bathroom and then I came back. So I did kind of do this all in one day. And sometimes when I do layouts, um, it takes me a few days to complete it because I have to think in between. Um, but on this day, I did take some time, but I did it in one um, day. So just a couple hours probably um, back and forth, back and forth, trying to decide what to do. The title probably took me the longest, <laughs> but I don't make you wait to see all of that. So, and I also do a little bit of fussy cutting. So all I'm doing here is adding some tissue paper behind my photo. It's just a nice, another little layer. It makes what's behind it a little less, stand out a little less, and um, so the photos stand out a little bit more. And then I decided to go ahead and pop up the picture of the actual butterfly that's in her hands and drying off and get, getting ready to leave um, for the day, and um, or for its life. And actually, these were the last monarchs probably of the season, which I am told are typically the ones that migrate to Mexico. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I use a stapler to staple a lot of my ephemera together. Um, and the reason that I do that is because it's somewhat movable still. And um, it holds it together, obviously. And also, like, I can put things between layers. So like, one of those leaves is above the green piece of paper and a couple of them are below the green piece of paper, a pattern paper. So that kind of thing. It just helps with layering, I feel like. Um, and then what I've been doing here is just kind of trying to glue everything together because I need to start gluing stuff down. But I hadn't glued this down and I knew I wanted to do something with it before um, I added everything on top. So I glued all of my layout to each other so that I could move it 
and then um, glue it down and then I will use some orange thread and I went ahead and just use that orange thread down the middle of each one of the butterflies and now since it's in a bunch of bigger pieces here it's much easier to put my pictures back where I wanted them so if that makes sense I do that a lot like I just I'm not someone that likes to glue things actually down to the um, paper right away I, I take a while to make decisions like this here I was realizing that with that overlap it wasn't working with all of that foam adhesive underneath it so I took some of it off and then it worked just fine Okay, so I really like the way it added some texture to those butterflies, and I want to put this paper around the side and top just to kind of give that a little bit more. Um, there's not much going on over on that side. I have everything kind of at the bottom left, um, and so which I did on purpose, but I just wanted to have something over there on that side. So um, I'm going to use this paper. Um, on the sides, but I want some of that black to show the black and white flowers to show and so I went ahead and just sliced off the edge there and that will make this maybe a skosh less than 12 by 12, but it doesn't really matter in the long run. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rip the paper. I'm going to do it really fast. I mean, I just sped this up because it takes it takes a while to do to get it right. I go pretty slow when I'm ripping so that and I go back and forth between ripping and cutting a little bit and I still I wasn't getting quite enough off but I liked the way the rip looked and I knew I needed to cut off the sides of those butterflies anyway so I just cut a little bit more off each side the other two sides that I didn't rip and now I'm gluing it down and then off camera I went ahead and I zipped my um sewing machine around the edges with that same thread and then I can rough up the edges here a little bit and then I'm going to flip it over and I might want to use this paper so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that paper out so that I can use either side of that on another layout oh I like that paper I kind of wish I would have kept that but I like the way this ends up so <laughs> I should buy all of the paper at least two of them right <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm ready to put everything together. And so in a, in a few minutes here, or in a little bit, not very long, I'm going to start um, speeding everything up because I'm just going to start gluing stuff down. I haven't quite finished embellishing yet, though. So what I do, oh, here I discovered that I, I missed a butterfly. I, I wasn't going to do the butterflies that my things were going to go over the top of my photos and layers were going to go over the top of so I, I left a few empty and um, I discovered there was one that was going to peek out of there and show so I wanted to just zip that back really quickly I like having my machine there because it's really easy then for me to use it on any any layout it's just right there right in front of me Okay, so now I'm going to start, I'm committing a little bit more. So I'm going to start gluing more things down. I'm still not gluing things to the back <laughs> yet, but at least I know that this is how I want my layers. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my photos to the layers, if that makes sense. A lot of people ask me what I have in this bottle, and I just use Scotch Quick Dry. It's or Tacky Glue, I think it's called. Um, it used to be called quick dry or now it's called quick dry and it used to be called tacky glue. I can't remember which and I just get it either at Michael's or on Amazon and I put it in that fine liner bottle. I use the yellow lid, whatever, um, whatever size that is works really well and I don't have to water it down or anything and it comes out of the top really well. The only thing you have to worry about is making sure that you get the lid on right away because it will dry and then it's hard to, um, you ruin the bottle basically. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back and forth between these stickers that come, I don't remember which kit they come in, but I think they come in the Traveler's Notebook kit. And I'm going to go back and forth between those and um, the printable that comes you know the the exclusive printable that comes in the kits and I think I use actually both of them one for some things from the traveler's notebook principle and some things from the main kit principle 
um, right there I ended up deciding that I might as well just go ahead and um, glue down those pictures because every time I was trying to add these little embellishments, um, I was moving it <laughs> and it was bothering me and I knew that it was where I wanted it to be. So these stickers are great. Most of them are see-through and see-through transparent and or translucent, I guess would be a better word for it. And then um, so but they show the color ones show up really well. And most of what I'm using is black anyway. And then some um, of the orange I am using more on the white. Um, butterflies so then it works out really well. So I found some flowers. So I'm using this flower. I cut this one out, that label underneath the picture. And then I find, I think, a few more flowers that I end up cutting out and using those as more layers um, around my photo. So like that one right there, I'm going to use this, which is actually meant to be part of a card. And part of it's cut off. Um, because it's the edge of the card if you were to cut it out and use it as a card but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to hide that part anyway I think I do two different flowers like that that I end up hiding the parts that is straight or that it's cut off so I sped this up a lot because all I'm doing really is going through this book over and over back and forth what do I want a little more black a little more <laughs> a little more orange a little more um of that kind of aqua color. So I do that for a little bit and then I'm gonna grab, I think here in a second it's gonna break because I am I found some more stuff to cut out. Here we go right here. And then I come back and I've cut some more things out. Uh, a couple more flowers, a little heart, and um, I just didn't want you to have to watch me cut every single one of those out. But all of those things that I cut are pretty much from one of the principles that comes with the kits. I'm adding a little tangle thread if you're someone that follows my channel, um, my YouTube channel, and I will link that information below so that you can if you aren't already a subscriber. Um, I use a lot of tangle thread. Um, I like it as a layer. It adds a little bit to the messiness. It adds some texture. It's great for adding a little pop of color here and there. So um, off camera, one of the other things I did while I was cutting things <laughs> is I was thinking about what I was going to use for a title. I really thought a title would go nice, right, nicely right here. And so I went, I thought it needed to be one word. So I decided emerge would work because that's really what happens. Those butterflies emerged on this day. So um, I will probably do another butterfly layout because butterflies were a big part of our summer and fall this year. And um, so I have a lot of stories that I want to tell about those. Um, this one, I didn't really do any journaling. And so I'll have to do another layout at another time. But um, I am putting a little bit of tangled thread underneath emerge. And then I go back and forth trying to hold things down with um, various <laughs> tubs, like that one right there that I is my trash. Um, I just use that on my desk all the time so that I don't have to, uh, my desk gets a little messy if I don't have something like that because my trash isn't easily, super easily accessible. Um, or maybe I'm just lazy, but with it right there on my desk, I can just move it over and cut right over the top of it or whatever. So I use a little cute little container for that. And then, um, I also use it to weight things down <laughs> when I glue things. So these came in one of the kits as well. I can't remember which. They're Amy Tangerine and they're little puffy stickers. I think I used them on my last layout as well. And I am almost done here. Um, I thought, in fact, at one point I thought I was done and then I decided, oh, a little bit more. So I do go back to that sticker book and add a couple of things and add a few more of the enamel hearts. The hearts are so cute and there's, I think, three different colors and three different sizes, I think. Maybe four different colors. I use three different colors, but I think there's four or five different colors. And there's still so many left, and I think I used them on my last layout and this layout. So I've used them on at least two layouts, and um, yeah, and I still have quite a few left you can see on there. So, oh, there's purple ones and gray ones, yeah, yellow, a whole bunch of fun ones. So anywhere I felt like there needed to be a little bit more color or something, I added some hearts. <laughs> It looked a little plain up there, so I added some hearts. And then I'm finished. So in the close-ups, you'll be able to see the layers and the dimension that I'm able to get. There's the final layout. 
And here are the layers with the thread. I did leave some of the thread that I sewed. Um, I left the strands just to add some more texture as well. So thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope you'll subscribe if you like what you see, and I'll see you in the next video.